Are you getting a German short hair pointer puppy? It's a very exciting time, but something you should be thinking about is when you're gonna start training them. And today, we're here to help with that. Welcome back to the Fenrir German Short Hair Pointer Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the German Short Hair Pointer and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Bringing home your German Short Hair Pointer puppy is gonna be a very, very exciting day and probably quite overwhelming as there's so many different things to remember and something you definitely wanna have thought about is when you're going to start training them. So today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that canine behaviorist and founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com, Will, has recorded all about when you should start training your German short hair pointer puppy. So let's jump into another quickfire webinar and this is about a question that we get all of the time and that is when should you start training your new puppy? A lot of people are worried that their puppy is going to be traumatized from being removed from its parents so you should give it time to settle in. Do you want to wait till they reach adolescence? Is they a good time? Is they a bad time to start training and my thought process on this is really simple but I'm going to then explain some of the more theory behind it of why it's so important so it's simple but incredibly important and that is that you should start training your puppy from the very first second that you ever meet them now the reason I say that is uh, because for me training is more than just teaching your puppy new tricks when I think about training a dog that happens in every single interaction that we ever have with our dogs from the second you pick it up right up until its very last day we are training our dogs non-stop sometimes with that might be very formal training which is what a lot of people think of when they think of training my puppy teaching it to sit stay down come recall heal all that stuff but what about house manners what about how to interact with other dogs, how to interact with other people, how to live in our home, how to display the right behaviours, how to abide by our rules, boundaries and expectations. That is an ongoing process that never ends and happens from the second you pick your dog up. And it happens through a process called operant conditioning. Operant conditioning, we, I could do seminars on operant conditioning, but very basically, it's how a dog learns, and it's broken up into four quadrants. There is positive reinforcement, which is what most people know, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, and negative punishment. Again, I'm not here to explain operant conditioning to you, but every time a dog experiences anything, one of those four quadrants is triggered, which will either, in the forms of reinforcement, mean that that behavior happens more, or in the form of punishment, see that behavior happen less frequently. So every time we have an interaction with our dogs, they're learning. Therefore, we are training them on how to behave and how to live in this world that we've brought them into. So when you think about how to train your dog and when to start training your dog, that happens from the very first second and never stops for the rest of its life. If you understand that concept and have that mindset and be mindful, that's the main thing. If you're mindful that that is the case, then you will be aware that every everything you're doing will result in a behavior happening more frequently, reinforcing that behavior, or a behavior happening less frequently, punishing that behavior. Now again, what that actually looks like is a topic for another discussion, but when you think about when should you start training your puppy, restructure that thought process in your mind and restructure it to understand that you are always training your puppy. From the day you bring it home till its last day, you are training your puppy. Then it's up to you. Are you going to train them to display the right behaviours, to be a lovely, well-rounded, well-mannered, quiet, balanced dog? Or are you going to train them to display bad behaviours and be a reactive, fearful, anxious or aggressive dog? That happens from second one to the last second and the results are completely up to you. So get after it, get stuck in and enjoy the process. There you have it guys, some really useful information from Will there, all about when you should start training your German short hair pointer puppy. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we have two dedicated videos coming out every single week. So I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir German short hair pointer show.